the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are suing a French magazine, Closer, for £1.3 million over the publication of topless pictures of Kate five years ago. Well, in court, the lawyer representing the royals said that the photos reminded them of the harassment that led to Diana's death. Joining us now is Duncan Larkham, who's the former royal editor of The Sun. Morning, Morning to you, Good morning. Uh, Duncan. So, look, where is the line here? They want all this money. I presume they would give it to charity if they win. It's not really about them making money. No, no. It's about them putting a line in the sand, mm. quite literally in some cases. They don't want the paparazzi following them around when they don't want the paparazzi there. It comes literally the day after they release pictures of uh, little Charlotte mm. on her birthday, taken by <laughs> Mummy, released to the press, very controlled. They mm. want to have great control over the press in terms of images they're releasing. Won't even let... Even Arthur Edwards isn't allowed to do the, the baby pictures anymore, right? Um, where is that line between common sense protection for the royals and freedom of the press, for want of a better phrase. Yeah, when, when those pictures of Kate Topless were taken, The Sun, as many newspapers were offered them, in Britain, we often debate whether or not we should publish a picture. There was a discussion in the newsroom. On that occasion, there was no discussion. That was a clear... Uh, they, they both clearly had a reasonable expectation of privacy. They weren't sitting on a beach in Barbados with mm -hmm. Kate Topless. They were in a private villa. Um, and that is, oh, that's overstepping the line. Mm. The problem that William and Harry both have is that nowadays, the British press might be towing the line, might have that um, recognition of where the line is drawn. Mm. The foreign press don't really well, It's been take the anything. case for a long time, since Diana died, really. That has mm. been the case where the British press have behaved, by and large, pretty well, I think, with the royals mm. in relation to this kind of thing. Yeah. But you can't control foreign paparazzi. You can't control rogue paparazzi. Well, why not? You? Why can't you control them? Because I think one of, one of the defences in this case is that... It was lovely to see that the couple were getting on so well. But they thought they yeah. were on a private holiday in a secluded... This, frankly, was a secluded villa. Yeah. These photographs were taken long lens, mm -hmm. not within the grounds. You know, they were... Oh, these paparazzi were far away from the villa. Yeah. So this couple felt like they're constantly under surveillance. Do they not deserve a time when they don't feel like they're being stalked by photographers? Mm -hmm. Or have they compromised that simply by being royal and we all need to see that they're getting on really well? Yeah, I mean, that might be the argument that's played out in a French court. I don't think it would wash with the public. I don't think it would wash with sun readers.